somewhere around the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, I came across this quote by this guy called Boethius. It says, contemplate the extent and stability of the heavens and then at last cease to admire worthless things. It's a quote that truly changed my life, that truly impacted my life to this day. It's congruent to something that I have been raised to believe, but, but hearing this quote put together in this way brought such a deeper understanding into my faith and into my belief. by the time they get out of the airport, it's gonna be six stories. The Five Dysfunctions of the Team, of a Team, by Patrick Lencioni. So there's five. First one is absence of trust. <laughs> Not be able to open up about things in your heart to your team. Second one, fear of conflict, artificial harmony. That's when people don't voice their opinions F to keep the peace, peace in the room. But actually that leads to just unresolved issues. Third one is lack of commitment, ambiguity. That means like you're not committed into the plan of, or a vision of the company, of a team. The fourth one, avoidance of a accountability low standards which is low standards yeah. sucks but accountability it means like you keep the teammates accountable for the project you're working on or something on a deadline or anything it doesn't mean that's a, it's a lack of trust that means you're pushing each other for a higher standard um, in attention to results status and ego so this one is more like people um, only focus on their own result rather than the result of the team itself yeah so this is five dysfunctions of a team it's all very important to work on it with all of the team the success of the company or a team is when the team is good the team is functioning well together, then they can achieve high goals. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork, yes, teamwork, what? Teamwork makes, makes the, the dream work, work. exactly. I would, th this book actually rec recommended for all of the teams, big corporations. Also, it, uh, it's good for, if you're leading a small group or you're in part of the team, any team or company, or even in a church or any setting. I think it's good to be, if you wanna go higher, you have to build up the team. With these beans, I feel like my coffee tastes good at home. And that's why I like the beans, because even if I don't steam my milk well, it's good. Well, this is Five Stones Coffee. It's one of my favorites for years. I like their coffee. I'd rate this coffee like, Nine out of ten. Oh, my go-to coffee order is usually a latte. Um, I had a phase with cappuccinos. I really liked cappuccinos, especially here. I really like their cappuccinos. So it really depends, but most of the time it's just a latte. And then my top three coffee shops, I think, in no particular order, like I would say Five Stones is one of them. I'd say 203 is really good. I know not everyone agrees, but I really like 203. Oh, Santo. <laughs> yeah, San <laughs> yes. No, no, Santo is, r Santo is a good one. I like it. I feel like they're also one that, that's like pretty consistent, like in their quality and always like, you know, you can expect like a good cup and like th that for, I feel like for Santo, the barista doesn't matter, which is interesting because I feel like they all have the same, like maybe same standard. Yeah. Yeah, but I think those are the 
top three. Um, honorable mention would be. <laughs> honorable mention would be. Let's see. The third culture, like third culture, but like 2019 third culture, <laughs> 2020 third culture. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm saying my my piece of advice would be, don't waste time. You know, trying to. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Do you want to hear my advice or not? My advice would be, you know, don't waste time trying to be someone you're not. And that sounds very, like, broad. But what I mean by that is, you know, the sooner you just, like, learn to accept yourself and know yourself, the sooner it is that, like, you'll attract like-minded people and even opportunities that you really want. But if you go around just, you know, being, like tossed from one side to the other and trying to fit in or whatever you'll never really know like what your life could be so just you know stay true to yourself it's all about perspective you either run from things or you face them mr white well, what exactly does that mean i learned it in rehab it's all about accepting who you really are <laughs> mean like this grocery haul starting with essentials not fun but very necessary chicken soup chicken soup part two orange juice eggs always eggs hash browns things are getting more and more fun Speaking of fun, artichoke dip, really good. Eat that with best crackers, tea for a very one specific person. If you know, you know. Salmon, back to the essentials. Salami, not one, not two, but five. Best snack, green mangoes. You know, you just, you just gotta try it. Chocolate, also for this person. Flowers, more flowers. Bananas, last but not least, citrus. Mangoes, that's it. Hey guys, so we're in our quarters right now. I don't think it's, it's recording. recording. How do you know? Look. Oh, it is, yeah. Hey YouTube, we're out here in Anacortes. Me and Mark are walking to this. Oh, where, are we, where are we walking? To get Jerry food. Deli. Jerry Deli. It's like supposedly the best deli, best overall food spot in Anacortes. So we're gonna go get some sandwiches and rate it. See what if the hype is worth it. We just walked out of Jerry Deli, this deli spot in Anacortes. I got the Reuben sandwich, and to be honest, it was too sour for my liking. But when I dipped it into his tomato soup, it was really delicious. Because I got the sourdough bread. Not because I got the sourdough bread, it's because there's sourkraut in there. Oh, she should have asked for no sauerkraut. Well, when she, when I asked her what's in the sandwich, she said sauerkraut, and I thought it sounded really good. 
You know what a sauerkraut was? I know what it is. I just thought it sounded good. <laughs> the like, name, sauerkraut. <laughs> I know what it is. I'm saying it sounded good with everything else. With the beef. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anywho. so we're going to just keep exploring. Comment down below if you want us to check anything out. Yeah, Santa, Santa Fe. Yeah. Where is that? That's Santa in New Fe? Mexico. <laughs> what? It looks like we're gonna go get some ice cream now. We'll let you know how it is. Okay, Michelle, how you've been climbing for like almost a year, right? No, like six months. Okay, six months. First of all, give me like some advice for a new climber. What do you have to do? Do you have to like be just keep climbing? Climbing. Yeah. Okay, and have you noticed climbing like improving? Like your mobility or like your range of motion, stuff like that. Like, why have you noticed it improving um, your physical? A lot like, of uh, tendon pain. Tendon pain. Yeah. Cool. And the best spot is Seattle bouldering. Is that right? Outdoors. Never been to the outdoors, <laughs> but. Why not? Can you just rip it out one day? I want to prep it the next day, and then you install it the next day. I was like, it's true. That's even on the condom. Training pay off? Yes, it did. Very nice warm up system. Wow. watching this for but we found Michelle everything's she ignore the messages lost. ignore the phone call she was never lost I don't know what he's I'm kidding talking about, but, um. we just did some filming in this beautiful park Mark is over there out of the shot pondering the he's, meaning of life yeah he's he's yeah. one with nature right now he's thinking about what's the next move for us he's Overall. the leader of the pack he's the one doing the thinking for us he's the dad come say hi dad <laughs> He's behind the camera now. He's gonna zoom in. 
<laughs> oh, he doesn't know how to use a camera. Guess, it's, 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 <laughs> it's his first time day. using a camera. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, actually it's the main. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's his baby. Mm. <laughs> Next stop is further in the fork. Do you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say, let's go to the next stop or something, like transition. Let's go! Let's go to the next place. I'm checking you out. I'm checking you out. You seen that movie? No. no. Wow. Anytime you say, anytime you say something weird, just say, you guys seen that movie? Just <laughs> anything. <laughs> Man, I love poop. Hey, you see the It's a good movie, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's going in the vlog, bro. No, it's not, dude. Stop. You seen that movie? Stop, dude. Stop. Please, Dad. Please. It's so confusing. Please. Like It's like mirrored, so I can't. Oh, Why? 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 Okay, Lilia. Sugar under your sleeve, but the